Hello and hello, hello, hello. We are live again now on this page. So we had some technical problems again, and YouTube did not want to go live on the other chat on the other um, on the other 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 uh, live that I put on. So now we're going here instead. So welcome everyone who is watching on a replay. Um, I hope everyone that tuned in on the other link is going to jump into this one as well because it didn't work for some reason. But hey, I am live on this side now. So let me just, let me just text you guys on here to join this one instead. There we go. So let me see. We have today on the other stream, we had Neva joining and Caleb joining. Let's see, do we have anyone to come over? One second, guys. Sorry to keep you waiting. Okay. Um, I will close that one and let's see. But first, Mum Life. Hey, welcome, welcome. We are gonna join, we're gonna paint today. And I think you have a daughter, don't you? Kelly's, is that right? Do I pronounce that right? Um, into the whole playful mode again because I got a little bit stressed when that didn't work. But now we are back here and we are back live. So let's hope that. Now we have seven people viewing on the other channel and I'm trying to tell them to come over here So I hope they will follow along and uh, Find the stream instead. We'll just take a couple of seconds to see we have three people joining on this one now So hopefully the rest will come along as well Meanwhile, let me just show you what we are using today um, I am using this type of paper, it's mixed media. Hi, Simone, thank you so much for coming over. And um, it said that live stream isn't available and then it just went off. So I don't know what really happened there, but it should be working now. And I hope that the image is clearer than last time. Can you see me clearly now, hopefully? Yes, Kelis, your mom told me that you're joining today. So I, I wrote your na name down on a list and I saw that you're going to be here. So I added that here. And Jay found us as well. Thank you so much, Jay, for coming over here. And uh, I'm trying to get to, back to the playful mode now because I got a little bit stressed when it didn't work out. I'm like that. But now, let's see, we have nine people here. Thank you, Wairo, as well for coming. And now it's working fine it's just a shame because i shared the other link with so many people for days now so i hope that they find this stream instead now let me show you i am using mixed media paper and it's by this brand i am not sponsored by anyone by the way in this uh, in this um, live but i still want to mention what i'm using because i recommend it as it is very good quality the, these ones as you can see are quite thick the papers are very thick so it doesn't break if you're using a uh, normal copy paper and um, be aware of that it breaks quite easily when it gets wet so be gentle with your brushes let's say we have caleb neva and micah joining us hey guys i hope you have your papers ready i also used um, painter's tape to stick it on and the nice thing about this tape is once you are ready with your painting it leaves this kind of like clean edge to the painting. So it looks quite nice. If you have painter's tape, do add it around. And yeah, let's see. Today, we are going to talk about a one point perspective. <clears throat> Did I say hello to everyone? I just jumped on a new one and I'm happy to see that you guys find found me here because I was a little bit worried there for a second. Anyways, deep breath. We are here now. Mina is joining. Hey, Mina. And Rick is joining as well. I am so happy that you found this link. Well done, guys. You found me. <laughs> now, let me start again. Um, put your paper in landscape 
like that. This is portrait when it's standing up. Now it's in landscape mode. And we will be talking about um, one point perspective. So let's see, we have kids joining in today and I know that you are different ages, but this is also for adults. But I'm gonna show you here on the paper. So I'm gonna start with water paint. I have a lot of different paints here on the table, but I'm starting with water paint and then I'm making the line that separates the sky from the ground, which is called, starting with H, <laughs> horizon. So make a line from side to side for the horizon. Now you can use a pencil to start off with and make some lines. So draw the horizon. I'm, I'm using color now so it will show better for you guys. But draw a line for the horizon first and we're gonna talk about one point perspective. So I'm sure that most of you know, when you draw a picture, most of you know that the things that are further away on the horizon are very, very tiny and the things closer to you appear a bit bigger, right? So I'm going to make a dot here. You won't see it so clearly because with a pencil, but here is my one point perspective vanishing point. So all the lines will go into that line over there. And then I'm gonna paint with brown. I go 10 times around in the color. I'm using watercolor now, water paint. And from this vanishing point, I am making a line for the road like this. It doesn't have to be straight because it's nature. So we don't need completely straight lines. If you want to use a ruler, you can do so and uh, get the lines exactly straight with the ruler, but now I'm taking the other line and I'm gonna meet it down here, more or less. And then I go all the way like that till the end. Now this will make the road. <clears throat> and you see the road kind of vanishes far away on the... Malik is joining, hi, and Sandy is here. Well, hi Sandy, are you painting with us or are you viewing? Lena is here as well, hey Lena. Uh, Lena, Avid and Victor, are they joining us or? Is it you alone? This is for all ages. This is for grown-ups as well as kids. It might be a bit tricky for the youngest kids, but with a little bit of help from an adult, I'm sure that younger kids can do this as well. So now I'm coloring in the road. Use as uh, an underpainting, and then I'm probably gonna add a little bit of acrylic paint on top to make the colors more vibrant and strong. <clears throat> so, here you go, and this one goes all the way down to the vanishing point on the right. Explain this idea, I mean, I'm putting it here, and then if you want to change it, you can play around with it afterwards. So that is uh, the rope. Now I'm adding green, and all of this will be grass, all the way up to the horizon here. So I'm painting all of that, this part green over here. Let me know in the chat, by the way, if I'm going too fast or if something is unclear. I know some of you guys are professional artists and some of you guys are younger kids. So it's uh, we are all on different levels and if you want me to explain something more in detail, let me know in the chat box. Jay, are you painting as well? Or I think uh, Ruby and Katie, right? Are they joining? I think so. And another thing, by the way, guys, when I paint, I sometimes struggle a little bit with keeping up with the chat, but I'll do my best and not keeping you hanging too much. So the grass, another thing with colors is when it comes closer to you, I add a little bit of warmer shades to the color because somehow it makes it look like it's closer to you like that and then like colder colors sinking into the background a little bit more. Also guys, if you are actually painting with me, I love to see how yours turn out as well. So please do share on Instagram afterwards and show me yours. 
um, is LDN Art Nanny. So I hope to see your paintings on Instagram afterwards. You guys shared so many lovely um, creations that you made last week on the Easter special. It was so sweet to see and uh, it really makes me smile to see how yours turned out and that someone is actually doing this as well. And I'm not just here speaking to myself. Hey, Jasmine, welcome. So now, if you remember uh, this painting, we're gonna do a similar sky. So we have blue from the top, make it fade in towards white. Then we had yellow, orange, and a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of red by the horizon. So <clears throat> I'm adding blue first. Guys, by the way, I didn't see, um, is, the, is the image clearer than last time? Last time it was super blurry, so I moved into my kitchen, we're in my kitchen at the moment, um, because I wanted to be a bit closer so the Wi-Fi would work better. Hopefully it's clear. Now I'm making blue up here. If you don't have Instagram, that's a good question. Um, you can also email your images if you want. And that is simply londonartnanny at gmail.com. If you're not on Instagram and want to share your pictures, please do email them to me as well. That's totally fine. So now adding more blue up here. I'm gonna take a bigger brush for that side so that it will show a little bit more at a time. And again, I'm making a darker blue on the top like that. And now because this paper is standing up, it's running a little bit, but it should be fine still. I wanted to have it in this mode so you can see it clearer rather than on my table. It's a little bit blurry. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I have put all other devices on flight mode and I hope that you can see still. I hope it's not as bad as last time because last time was quite bad, I must admit myself. But I hope that you can see well enough to follow along. And I think it's since lockdown, my internet has been really, really bad and I've heard other people in the area as well um, they had problems with their Wi-Fi, so it is unfortunately a problem right now, but hopefully you are able to see somewhat what's going on. Theo and Tindra have joined as well. Welcome. Hey, Theo and Tindra. Uh, they are in Finland, but I've seen them play with Barbies and they are very good at English, so I'm sure they'll be able to follow along. We are speaking about the one point perspective on the horizon. And we made the horizon first, made the dot over here, and now we're gonna see how all the lines join together at this point. And now I'm adding yellow. Uh oh, that was a very strong yellow. I'm gonna blend it up a little bit with water. Another thing that I'm always speaking about in my art classes as well is we don't. We don't work towards perfection. Um, we do trial and error, and sometimes it works out, other times it doesn't, and that's totally fine. We just do our best and we learn from the process. Yes, you're right, Sina. Everyone are at home using Wi-Fi, and it just slows it down a little bit, but hopefully you're able to see somewhat. <clears throat> Neva and Caleb, how are you getting on? Are you uh, able to see what I'm painting and how far did you get so far? Now I'm adding a little bit of orange here closer to the horizon, like that, and I'm adding water to blend it in a little bit like this. So I'm actually trying to speak to Sky, which is my Wi-Fi provider. Um, to see if I can get a faster connection or if they can speed up the one that I have. 
but I didn't get any luck in getting in contact with them yet. Their lines are always busy and you don't really get through to them. So that's another problem. But hey, we make the best out of what we have. And yeah. now I'm blending in the orange a little bit up here as well. There. And then this part here in the middle, I'm going to paint with green. <clears throat> Now, guys, um, I personally can paint for hours and hours and hours and just go on and on and on. And if you're not as crazy about painting as I am, don't feel bad if you want to leave before I finish because I always stay here for quite a while. And if you are even more into painting than I am and you want to continue when I finish, don't feel the need to rush your paintings. Continue as long as you want and then just share the results once you're finished. Hey, Nadja. Hey, how are you? Is Artemis joining as well? I hope so. Um, I'm so happy that you were able to find this live even though the other one failed. And I hope that you're able to see this somewhat okay if it's really really bad again then i'll upload another video but i hope that you'll be able to get the idea from from this video and hopefully it's not too blurry fingers crossed so now this is more or less the background for our painting so we've got the horizon the one point perspective the vanishing point and now we've painted the background. Artemis is painting along. I love that. Hey, Artemis, I miss you. And thank you so much for the drawing, Artemis. Uh, um, your dad sent it in, um, a picture of you and me painting together. And it was so, so sweet. Yes, I have to see it afterwards. Please send it in either on, on Instagram or on WhatsApp or wherever. We are they're connected everywhere anyway. <laughs> so. Now, the next point, the next line that I'm going to make here is, I'm just thinking what color I should make it in so you can see it. I'll make it in blue. Now I'm going to make one line that goes from the vanishing point here on the horizon. And I'm going to go all the way up like this, like that. I hope you can see that line. It goes up from the vanishing point and all the way up to the upper part of the paper. And that is the guideline for the trees. Now, normally I wouldn't make that line so strong, but just so it will show really as clear as possible with the Wi-Fi that I'm using, I hope that you're able to see that guideline on my paper. Okay. Um, if I missed any messages, I'm sorry. Um, I hope not. Uh, yes, Jay is, Katie and Ruby are painting along, I hope. Mila is here painting with you. Oh, welcome Mila. Thank you for joining. I hope that you show us later on how they turn out. Um, now I am gonna add the trees. So you see this guideline over here? Now I'm gonna make straight lines for the trees that connects the guideline with the road here on the ground. And again, we are not making a perfect, perfect image. It's mainly about learning this idea about the vanishing point and getting the perspective. So now I'm painting the trees here and they're going up towards this guideline and you can see that they are smaller the further away you go and you can make them a little bit thinner as well here towards that side and now the closer we come to to the edge of the paper the bigger the trees will be so the one here will be about this thick i hope you can see it I'll also add an, a picture, I'll take a photo of this when it's ready and I'll upload it so that 
whatever is unclear and blurry right now will show in the picture instead. But I hope it's clear enough for you guys to be able to follow along. Here we go. So that's closest to us. And then you see step by step, they get smaller and smaller and smaller. Now this guideline is a bit strong. You can make it with a pencil if you want. And then it got clear, yay! Woo -woo. Let's hope, fingers crossed, it stays that way. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. Rick, are you painting? Rick is a very talented artist. And uh, I've connected with quite a few artists here on, on YouTube. And I love seeing other people paint as well. And I join other people's lives as well, because it's just, it's just fun and inspiring to see what other people get up to. And those who know me know that I run art classes in London. But due to the lockdown, I'm now doing these classes online instead. And as I love painting, I thought I'll share this with you guys as well. So now you see, step by step, they vanish towards the vanishing point. You can make a little tiny one over here. And now you can just start playing around with your pictures a bit. Now that you have the trees, the road, and the grass, now you can decide what you want to add to your pictures. I'm gonna make these into cherry blossom trees and add some pink flowers. And as mentioned, I can go on for hours. You go on as long as you want. And when you feel like your picture is finished, then take a picture of it and please share it with me on Instagram or in my email if you don't have Instagram. But yeah, I'm gonna continue on this painting now and just kind of add a little bit more color to everything. Now this is kind of the background color and then I just like adding um, layers. And I kind of feel like the more layers you make, the more defined the picture is. So now it's quite light in colors. Let me show you here on the table. So I've got like loads and loads of paints. These are the, the water paints that I'm using. Again, I'm not sponsored, but I'll just share because I think they're very good. And then we have these ones over here. I got the acrylic paints. Those ones are very good. And yep, that's what I'm using for this one. These are, yeah, it's like Elsa braids or Viking, Viking braids. Now for a second here, I forgot what color I have in the brush. Let me check, oh, it's brown. I thought it was green. Good, I checked. So yeah. You know, a lot of people mention these braids and some actually, to me it's, it's very easy to make them because we've been making them since we were kids ourselves. And I have four sisters, hi if you're watching. <laughs> I have four sisters and we used to braid our hairs, each other's hairs when we were kids. And to me it's just super simple to do it. But so many people have asked me how to do them. So I'm actually gonna upload a video about that as well, how to make Viking braids or Elsa braids. Thank you, Jay. Now let's see, what shall I do next? I think I'm gonna add a little bit more green and blue to the background and make the color a little bit stronger from here. Yeah, I like that, that looks nice. It's a little bit more vibrant in color. <clears throat> I'm adding a bit of blue into the green and blending it in like that. And even if you're painting your own picture, Please do share, because I love seeing what you get up to during the, the sessions. So here's a bit more green. 
If your kids are still painting, let me know if it was clear the way I explained the vanishing point. If they understood that part. Did they need help or was it clear enough? Hey Neil, thank you for joining. <clears throat> are you painting with us, Neil, or are you viewing today? I'm just opening a little. Oops, that one is quite dark. I'm gonna add that closest to the horizon with a little bit more blue to make it look like it's super, super far away in the distance. I wonder if Theo and Tindra are painting with us today. I saw that you guys joined in. There. Now what shall we do next in this picture? Shall we make the pink maybe? Um, let's see, I'm gonna switch this one down for a second so you can see the palette over here. And I, I'm gonna use cream. You see these are a little bit messy because I've been using it. These last for a very long time. They are quite expensive, but they do last. So it is worth investing if you are painting a lot. And then I'm adding some white. And let's see, let's take this brush over here. <clears throat> and then I'm adding a little bit red and mixing in with white like that. I'm gonna add different shades, so lighter, pink, white, and red. Red for the shadows, pink for the flowers, and white for the highlights. There we go. Let's put that one up again. And I'm gonna start with just adding small dots for the flowers. And these are the cherry blossoms. And it has been cherry blossoms. The cherry blossom season now in London for a while. They're almost out of flowers now. But I'm adding this as a little bit of shadow to the brighter pink later on. And just roughly around the edges like that. It's not so precise. When you're drawing, you make more precise lines and colors. But when you're painting, it's not so, well, it depends on what style you use, but I like to not be too detailed with the paintings and just kind of have fun with colors. And then I'm adding a little bit of pink to it and just making small dots like that. Let's see if it colors the guideline. It might show a little bit through, but that's okay. And I'm just going to cover all of these areas with pink and red and white simultaneously to make it look like real flowers. I hope that it hopefully fingers crossed. Sometimes it gets clearer with, uh, during the session. It's blurry in the beginning and then it gets clearer. I'm adding a little bit darker red. This is crimson red. And then I'm adding some white for the highlights. Here. Just small little dots with the brush. Let's see, our Wi-Fi is really laggy, but Riley is still painting. That's good. You know, Jessica, it might be mine. It might not be yours. Mine has been really, really bad as well. And the image has been quite blurry. Um, but hopefully, hopefully you are able to make sense of what I'm doing, even if it's not the brightest, clearest image. And hopefully we will get over We'll get better Wi-Fi with time. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit of white. Like that. I hope that looks okay. Shall we add some more highlights to the side? And then just filling in all of these trees with pink flowers like this. And it goes 
smaller and smaller again the further away you are um, towards the horizon and the vanishing point like that and what Another way to make it look like it's closer by is to add more details to the ones closer to you here on this side, add more details to those flowers and make it a little bit more blurry towards the vanishing point. And now you can decide if you want to add animals to your park or rocks or maybe a, a pool a puddle, a river, what do you want to add to your, your painting? There we go, adding a bit more highlights. The guideline is showing a little bit of paint, so I'm adding a bit more dark. I think I'm gonna let these flowers dry for a bit and then maybe add some more later. But not a layer. As mentioned, the more layers you put, the more realistic and the more kind of depth, depth do you get to the picture. There we go. Now, let's say that the sun is shining from this side. Then if the sun is shining from this side, that would mean that the shadow is laying on behind the trees. If the sun was shining from behind the trees, the shadows will come over the road. I'm not quite sure which way I should put the shadows. What do you think? Hey Sandy, thank you for the rose. Hey Sandy, so can you see the painting right now? Is it clear enough to see? Because for me, it looks super clear. The image is super, super clear and there is no like blurriness to the image. But I know that for some reason, for you guys, it might look a little bit blurry. I think, hmm, hey Jun, in Korea your video is cut off. Hmm, I think the other one, yeah, the other image, the other video, it wasn't working, but I wonder if it's working in this video, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see, oh, hey, uh, Catherine, Christina. So nice that you joined us. Uh, Catherine Christina is in, in uh, Canada. What time is it over at yours? I think it should be quite early. Is it early for you? Morning? So happy that you could join us. And I hope that you can see the image. It's so nice to have people from all over the world joining. I know Nadia is in, in France. Minna is in in Finland, let me see what Mina said. Ronya 12 and Mila 8 are painting and the image is okay. Oh, that's really, really good to hear. Thank you so much, Mina, for letting me know. And also, uh, please share, Mina, how yours turned out afterwards. Now I'm just adding more and more color to this picture. Different shades of green, different shades of pink and brown and here's my cherry blossom trees let me see if that looks somewhat okay and i hope that i described the vanishing point clear enough i think also when you paint on this type of paper sometimes if you have too many layers before it dries it kind of rubs out so i'm gonna let that dry for a little bit and then i'm gonna add some more blue to the sky instead Jay is saying you think it's okay. Uh, we will share. Thank you, Mina. 
Uh, Mila, your birthday is coming up. That's so exciting. I hope you're able to, to celebrate somehow, even though you're, you're at home. I know that in Finland, you might not be able to have a birthday party at the moment, but maybe eventually you can invite your friends once things get a little bit better. Well, Jessica, I'm sorry to hear that it's blurry on your end. Um, I hope that you're still... Riley, are you able to paint? I hope so. I hope it's not too blurry. And if you can't see my image, then please, Riley, paint your own picture and use your imagination and show us later on how yours turned out. Now I'm going to start adding a little bit more blue up here. I try not to blend it in with the pink while I'm at it. It's so nice to see so many of you guys on here today. And I hope that you're coping okay, <clears throat> even though most of the world. It's, it, the funny thing is, like, the thing that we're going through now, it kind of really doesn't it unite us in some way because the situation is more or less the same. Some Some parts of the world have bigger issues than others with what's going on but I think most of you guys watching are in Europe or UK and we had um, Catherine Christina from Canada as well but other than that I think most of you are in in the in Europe Let's see, I need to add shades to the tree as well. Sorry, like when I'm sitting here speaking to myself, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of say things and then, um, then I, go, I continue painting and then I go back to yours. So like I don't finish sentences sometimes, I just keep speaking. I am drinking coffee and this cup is from India, is by, uh, Good Earth. It's a hand painted mug that I got from a client from 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 New Delhi. And cheers to them as well if they're watching. Sometimes people watch and they don't want to take part of the chat, which is completely fine because not everyone will want to be public. But if you're watching, thank you so much for this cup. I love it and I use it all the time. Jessica's turn to paint as Hope is asleep. Hope is Jessica's baby. Uh, she's asleep on you. Oh, how can you manage to paint? I hope I hope you can somehow. No, again, I forgot what color I have. I think this is, oh, see, it has a little bit of blue in it. I keep forgetting as I chat what color I have in the brush. <laughs> Now let's add some, oh, Sandy is in Australia. And in Australia, it's evening right now. It's getting quite late, isn't it? Oh, Micah is also asleep right now. Simone, do you enjoy painting or is it more Caleb and Neva who, who are the artists in the family? I'm trying to remember if you mentioned painting before, but I think it's more the kids that, and you do more of the gardening and the kids do the painting. But if you want to join, it would be fun to see what you would paint. Now, anyways, I decided to add the shade from the trees overlapping the, the road so that it will come like this way over here. That might be a little bit too dark, but then again, when it dries, it dries a bit lighter. So I'll make the shadows coming this way. Might blend them out a little bit, not to make it too dark. There we go. Another thing that's a little bit of a shame with doing the lives is that 
I'm not able to play music. I usually love playing music while I paint, but it's okay. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more shadow to this side. Like that. Let's see if that makes sense. There we go. So now we got the shades coming this way. I'm blending them in a little bit into the green like that. And then I think I'm gonna add some hills here in the background as well. I think Jessica was talking about making a unicorn picture. Hey, Real Panther, thank you for joining. Relaxing and enjoying Charlotte's painting. Haha, <laughs> and you. Uh, that is so nice. Uh, Catherine, Christina, I wish for you to join us with the painting as well. Don't let me have all the fun. You should be painting too. <laughs> I know that you're very talented and uh, you do amazing art as well. So. I'm adding some hills here far away in the distance. So I hope that I described this clearly enough for you to get the idea about the vanishing point and the one point perspective so that you can play along and make different types of images using this technique. There's some hills in the background. <clears throat> I was thinking to paint a, a sea scenery next week. I know that I mentioned that already for, for this week, but then I decided because it's cherry blossom season, I decided to paint the pink flowers instead. But I was thinking to paint something similar to this, not exactly this one, because then if there's nothing new to it, you already see more or less how I made this one, right? But maybe we could make it like some type of sea scenery and sea landscape and then, um, Add some maybe, I don't know, ships or boats to it. I know Caleb is really good at painting ships. I've seen his ship paintings before. But yeah, let's see if we do that next week. I think 2 p.m. is quite a good time. I don't know how you feel about it. I may, might do a, a poll about it later on to see if you prefer 12 or 12 or 2 p.m. Last week we did 12, now I did it a little bit later so that some of the Americans might be able to join if they want to. So now that I've come this far, I think that, let's see, we've been on for 45 minutes now. Um, I wanted to explain something quickly. I'm just going to add a little bit more flowers to these trees closer by. And then I wanted to explain something quickly. Are your kids still... Um, Caleb is saying, please do a ship next week. I thought you would like that. I was thinking about you when I was painting the sea and I was thinking Caleb probably would like to make a, a ship in his sea. So maybe we could make a, some kind of a, a, a sea scenery and then add some ships to it. But I think you're better than me at painting those ships though. Because I've seen Caleb is, uh, how old did you say you are now Caleb? I think, are you around, was it seven or eight? And Caleb has his own channel and I've seen him paint on that channel. So that's how I know that he's very 
But anyways, I think this picture is more or less okay like that for now. I'm actually gonna... Um, no, I'm gonna let this one dry like this. But before you go, one second, I'm gonna grab a paper from my art studio here behind us. Here we go. It's actually becoming really, really sunny out there. The sun is shining. It was quite gray earlier today, but now it's clearing up. I think you saw when I opened that studio door that it's really bright. Now I'm gonna remove this painter's tape to show that, that side. And you see it makes this kind of white frame around the picture. Once this layer has dried, I might add a little bit more to it later today. But for now, I think I'm gonna leave it like this. Oops. The good thing with painter's tape is that it's not as strong as normal masking tape, so it doesn't rip the paper when you take it off. But you see here, now when I put it closer, you see the vanishing point, you see how the trees are going smaller towards the horizon. The shades, the shades will need another layer, but I'm gonna leave it to dry now. So that, this is how it looks so far. But what I wanted to explain to you on a different paper. Hey, Grayscale, thank you for joining. How are you today? Have you been painting? What I wanted to explain about this vanishing point still, because it is quite cool once you get the hang out of it. 18 people watching right now, that's so nice. Thank you everyone for joining today. So fun to see you all here. And remember to share your pictures afterwards. Yes, I love seeing how yours turned out. Um, so, if you have, I'm gonna add like, let's say, one, two, three, and four. So think of these as four different papers. I'm actually gonna move you guys closer to the picture because we'll see it clearer, hopefully. Like that. <clears throat> There's the color in there as well next to it. So when you have a picture like this, let me take a darker marker, like a blue one. And then you see when you make the horizon first, let's make the horizon of all of them, like that. And like that. Now this is recycled painter's tape, so it's not sticking on that well. There we go. Then when you make the vanishing point, say here you make it in the middle, and then the road comes towards you like that, like a triangle. And then you can make it on this side, and you can make the road coming like that. Or you can make it on this side, and make the road go that side. Or let's, where should we put the last one? You can, let's put it here, a little bit on the side. And then depending on where you pull those lines, that is where the road will go. And then the guideline. So for example, if you make a house, it is the same thing. So when you make in one, one point perspective, you make a house like this, first just a, a straight rectangle like that. And you see now, if you were to draw this to make the perspective right, you would continue the lines from this one to, to meet the vanishing point over here. So roughly like that. And from this upper corner, you, mo you move towards that line as well, like that. And then this one is straight down. So you see how it moves like that? And then if I make the roof, it goes 
like that. So that you get the right angle for these lines. So if you continue these lines, they all go towards that point over here. Everything disappears into the vanishing point. <clears throat> this is just a quick, quick sketch, but I wanted to explain that to you guys as well in this video. Now, let me see what you're saying in the chat. I think I'm finished with the painting for today. I'm just gonna put these brushes in the water. If you have any questions at all about what we just spoke about or, yeah, just let me know in the chat box. Jay is saying that she's loving this live. Thank you so much, Jay. I think some of, uh, of the artists watching right now, you, are, you know each other already. So that's why you're saying hi to each other, which is quite nice. <clears throat> Riley has finished his one. Well done, Riley. Remember to show it to me, okay? Hi, Alina. How are you doing? Um, we are painting tins right now, okay. Uh, Calais has done so well. I am looking forward to seeing yours as well, Calais. Um, I won. I, yeah, I'm so excited to see if you painted the one that I made or if you made your own pictures and how yours turned out. That's the most fun part about doing this lives is seeing how other people's paintings turned out. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. And next Saturday, I will be doing this again. And fingers crossed, hopefully, the internet will be working, Wi-Fi will be working. And Minna is saying, we are having fun. Thank you so much. Minna used to go to my school when I still lived in Finland. When we were kids, we went to the same school. So she's a fellow Swede. For those of you that don't know, I'm originally from Finland, but my mother tongue is Swedish. So I went to a Swedish-speaking school, and Minna was... One of, one of the kids in my class. But yeah, so now her kids are painting along to these classes and that's so fun to see that you enjoyed. Um, I didn't put any tape down, couldn't do it one-handed. Yeah, that's understandable, Jessica. Um, Viro, did you paint along or did you just view this time? Um, Viro is also a very, it's a very talented artist, as well as Rick and Alina. Neva said, yay, Jay, my best friend ever, when she heard Charlotte to say your name. <laughs> Neva, I'm looking forward to seeing your pictures as well later on. Um, guys, we are coming up to one hour. It's saying 54 minutes now. So next Saturday, we will be painting a seascape, not the landscape. Today we painted a landscape. Then we bring it back up here, we painted a landscape. Next week we will paint a seascape and then you can add your ships and whatnot to the paintings. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much everyone for joining today. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay. I'm gonna say bye now. Mila has done loads of things, but she did her own thing as she's only three. Oh, that's so sweet. Mila, thank you so much for joining, even though you're very young. But you know, when you're already three years old, you can also do a lot of fun arts. A lot of my kids here in London that I paint with, look at my hand, it's so messy. A lot of kids that I paint with here in London are around three years old. So yeah, it's a great age to get get uh, creative in but anyways i shall see you guys next saturday thank you so much thank you for watching and if you want to see the video about how to make viking braids it will come out probably on monday so stay tuned and stay well and look after each other bye bye riley bye guys bye katie and ruby